Bees and G's, welcome back to another episode of the PvP Trailblazer series. If you haven't missed any of the previous episodes, there will be a playlist up here in the top right corner and in the description. Go click on those because uh, we've had a load of episodes and you may have missed one by accident and then you'll get spoiled right now. So just click the playlist and make sure would be my advice to you because um, I am about to spoil things. Um, so now everyone who is getting spoiled should be off the video. So yeah. We lost the last episode, Bs and Gs. We, we, we managed to lose, which was uh, interesting. And uh, there was a few people in the comment section saying that Link doesn't understand how magic attack works. Guys, I play the game for a living. Of course I understand how magic attack works. But if we go to my relic and have a quick look at this, um, bind spells, and we have checked this. This means freezes as well. Bind spells will always hit on an unfrozen, non-freeze immune target. Right? This doesn't say bind spells will always hit on an unfrozen, non freeze immune target if the magic attack is 100 plus the magic defense or something. This is nothing to do with my magic attack. I could be in full fucking Justicia with no magic at all, and according to this relic, I should still be able to freeze anything I attack that can be frozen or is not immune or I'm fr or frozen at the time. This is either worded wrong. Or there is something wrong in the code. That's fine. You know what? Part of me is quite happy. Because it means that there's at least something I need to fix now. And that is I need to get more magic attack. So that my freezes will hit. And I know that sounds really counterproductive to how I started this episode. But what I'm trying to say is the wording's wrong. But I'm going to fix that by getting magic attack. So, I mean, obviously the way to do this is try and get some arims. Oh, also I've been practicing for you guys. Ruinous. Ruinous prayers. Did I do it? Did I do it? I hate that this is just a meme of the of the Trailblazer fucking series now that I have to try and say ruinous prayers properly. I think I've got it though. All right, the first chest of the episode. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. That's what we want. That is what we want. Kicking off with a Torag plate body. Yes. Now some Arim legs, some Arim legs, and we'll be good to go. That's huge. All right, let's have a look. I think this is going to be number 18. Oh, <laughs> I don't want that. I, don't, I, don't, I really don't want that at all. Here we go. Oh, bro, give me something magic. Give me something magic. Right, the next Barrow's brother we kill, Guthan, as long as he's not in the crypt, should get us the 99 magic. There we go, 99 magic, 200 points. So we're now 4,970 away from the next relic. That's pretty sick. I absolutely cannot believe that we finally have gotten a win. My guy was splashing left and right, and I've been trying to figure out why. Nothing's really changed. I mean, sure, my stats are a little bit better. I had slightly better gear with the staff, which gives magic defense. The prayer should work in the exact same way. I'm not taking any increased damage elsewhere because he's only going magic. This doesn't increase the splash chance. His relic says he can't splash, first of all, on a freeze. I have so many questions that I don't know the answer to. Link doesn't know the answer to. The audience doesn't know the answer to. So, But this is why I like leagues, because we're learning every day, every single time I film... I learned something new about this game. I learned something new about leagues, and it's just been a fucking blast. So we got a wind under a belt, but we're, we're not going to slow down. I think the fact that our stats have shot through the roof gave us that win or gave us the opportunity for that win. So I, I mean, I could max this video, max in terms of attack, defense, and magic. Probably HP as well if I really wanted to, of course. I, I don't think I'll be doing that. But I will definitely get 99 attack this video, and I'm pretty sure I want to go for 99 magic as well, all while doing lots of tasks. I'm starting to fall behind, and of course, you don't want to fall too behind on tasks, because for relics, they're just overpowered. And like, if Link gets guarding and I'm not even close, that could be bad news. So, we are going to be going for some big point tasks in this video as well. Some small ones. I do actually want to focus on getting my total level up to 1500. For the one minute cooldown, I did misspeak in the last video. Or I didn't misspeak, I was just unknowingly wrong. I thought 1500 had no cooldown, it's 1800. One minute should be fine for some God Wars dungeon grinding, so 
I'm going to get my skills up, hit some small point tasks with that, hit some big tasks along the way, focus on combat tasks, and again, probably get 99 magic and attack in this video. One more hit, one more hit. I'm out of prayer. I don't want to waste my super store. There we go. Please be wrath runes. Damn it, because that is a task to cast um, a surge spell. We are actually going to leave because I'm not going to stay here just for that. I forgot my undead spell, Crumble Undead, and I almost died because of it. I was hoping that would also be Wrath Runes, but it is not D-Long or D-Legs. I would have taken D-Legs, actually, because that's a point. Ooh, easy combat here. Let's fucking go. 200 free points. I'm not sure how I missed these tasks when I was doing construction in the last episode, but there's two really easy ones. One is to create an achievement hall, 80 points, and then actually need to create a study because we're going to create a marble lectern, and that is also... Not study. What's it called? No, it is called the study. And I don't know if this is an 80 point task or a 200 point task. I want to say 80. 200 seems a bit high. 80. Here we go. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. Oh, that's two cows, crossbows, two Torag hammers. Bro. All right, this is going to be the last chest I do for now. I'm going to go over to the Gob Wars dungeons. Let's hope we get some Arims. Nope. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go over to Gob Wars because I'm going to try a little bit more Zami. Um, for whatever reason, last time I did Zami, I just completely forgot that I could freeze Zami. I, I don't know why. So uh, with some of this new gear, I'm going to see if I can come up with some good, like, between defensive and between magic attack bonus and just see if we can do slightly better than we did last time. There's the freeze. And then we can get another freeze off here. And then we just hopefully have a pretty easy time of it now. Come on, drop me that stuff. You know you want to. You know you want to. Mm, not ideal. Demonic defense. I guess that's don't let him get a hit on you. Fuck me, I just got a god sword shard from one of the minions. <laughs> uh, I mean, I if I was kins right now, I'd be buzzing. I don't know how useful a god sword shard's going to be for me. But, yeah, it's cool to see. It's cool to see. Oh, no! Oh, I thought I, I, thought I got it. I mean, it's not bad to have, but fuck! The Zami Sphere... <laughs> I'm also going to try and go for a more magic-based method now, just to see if it's better, because I was still splashing quite a lot. Okay, I'm taking a quick break from Krill, because I'm actually going to get a Slayer Helm together and imbue it. Oh, that's a task. Nice. Um, I'm going to get a Slayer Helm together and imbue it, just because I can choose my tasks. Like, we have so many points, it's, like, insane. So I might as well be on a Slayer task doing it, and also it is a task for leagues to create a Slayer Helm. And it would just be useful for the future of the account to be able to actually use, like, magic with the boost on top of all the boosts we have as well. There it is. Took 180 kills. So a little bit slow, but we will take it. Boom. Let's put that on. Is that going to be a task? It's not a task. Okay. Right. Let's go turn this into a Slayer Helm quickly. Confirm 400 points. And if we use this on there. Slayer Helm. Beautiful. Now we've got to go imbue it. So we're going to go over to Soul Wars. And imbue this bad boy. Imbues. 500 tokens. Thank you very much. Sick. Now I get a 9 magic bonus by using this. Which is really nice. Um, and I've also got 100 tokens left over. So I think I'm just going to chuck them into defense. I'm going to go with 10 at a time. Just so that we get the max XP. We just got 30 agility. And I do want to get base 30s in this episode. It's a lot of tasks. And of course it'll get me to the 1500 I keep talking about. Ooh. Ooh, free 40 point task because I'm just doing this for a task. All right, after we get this task, we're going right back to... Actually, we can... Mm, what am I going to thieve? No, let's go to Lumbridge and do Farmers. It's moments like now where I really wish I had Trickster because this is so slow. Even for a skill that's so fast, it's so slow. Um, and I do want to mention, um, I do have an Iret Leaf in my inventory. I know some of you probably realize that. I'm going for an Agility Potion. And the quickest way to get it is by not spending any time going for an Agility Potion. Because Toad Flax are quite annoying to get. They're pretty easy from the Brimhaven Agility, but I'm very low Agility. And I don't want to even waste the time. So, whenever we get Dr. Jekyll, that will become an Agility Pot. We do Tybo 1-Eye Trio. 
and we can get 99 cooking really, really fast. We have production prodigy and fire sale, so we can buy raw cram wands and then one tick cook them just like we did with the gems for crafting. So I'm sure we'll get them this episode, but crazier things have happened. And that is Pickpocket a Ham member. It's funny I'm doing tasks that I should have done in like the first episode. Next up, 30 fletching. Although I might go right to 55 to be honest. So I can make broad bolts. I could just buy the unfinished broad bolts, buy feathers and fletch my way to 99 fletching incredibly, incredibly fast. Just like I can cooking. And hopefully those are two easy 99s, which means they're two easy points. Two easy elite tasks for points. Just got 55 fletching, 43 technically, but of course with Prodigy we get the plus 12. And we're just going to test it. We're going to buy some feathers and see what the XP is like. And we're just going to get a mill. That's probably way more than we need. Now we can go to Port Serum real quick and get that. I'm still actually so slow at using this thing. There's so many options. We can go right to Port Serum. There we go. I'm getting quicker. I'm getting quicker. Crap, I totally forgot we need to actually unlock it, and I don't think I have enough Slayer points. 300? I could probably get it relatively fast, because I have Kurasks and their superiors, and you get 75 per task. I could also use my Axe and its attack XP, get a few Slayer levels. I might just do it real quick so we can bash this out. Also, through Slayer, we're able to get a Rune Pouch, which... We do eventually want to get. Unfortunately, we had to dump it all to get this task. But is it unfortunate? We got this our first superior here. And I would pick this over any of the two previous things mentioned. Right after the recording, I get a sword, which is a task. It's only a 40-point task. I mean, it happened by accident. So, you know, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I got a second the kill right after. Literally back-to-back -back leaf bladed swords. What? Okay, it turns out I would have gotten a battle axe really quick anyway. I don't know what this luck is. I know it's four times drop rate, but this seems like 70 times drop rate at this point. And coming here, I can also get Renars, Quarms, Spirit Leaves for attack strength and prayer potions. We can also get a Rune Axe, which if we want to get 99 Khan for some points, the quickest way might just be to chop mahogany logs and then make that golden sink. And with a rune axe, it might be worth it because I was using a steel last time. I just went all tasks without getting one superior. One in 25, my fucking ass. I hope this was worth the hour that I spent on it. And boom. All right, I'm very excited to try this out. 360 per. I thought it'd be a bit faster. I'm not going to lie. What task was that? Clicking way too quick to care. Clicking way too quick to care. I mean, even if it's not like the best XP in the world, it's still going to be ridiculously fast. I'm going to try with broad arrows as well because the bolts just seem kind of slow. I mean, that's so much better. But the problem is, is I need to then make the headless arrows. So is it worth doing? Probably not. I could just spam like this and get much faster XP. I was trying to get a Greater Demons task, but I did just get a Gargoyle task, and I'm going to do it because it's a task, and we could get a Mystic uh, top from them. So it just makes sense to do it. Right, I just got a G-Mall and a Brittle Key. Oh, fuck me. I forgot that they have superiors. Uh, I can't even remember what this one... Is this melee? Protect from melee, and then it fires a ball? Yeah, cool. Um, let's see what we get. Boom. Do we have to finish it off? I'm so confused. Use that. Why can't I finish it off? What's going on? Why won't it die? Why won't it die? Bro, I'm so confused. You gonna die now? Bro, what the fuck is going on? I can't use the I can't use the I can't use the hammer against it. What? I'm gonna buy a normal hammer from Blokey and see if that works. I don't feel like I did anything wrong there. That felt more like a glitch to me than anything, but okay. A massive thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. 
Play more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships in dynamic combined arms PvP battles. Every vehicle is incredibly detailed and modeled down to their individual components, offering a highly immersive combat experience. And it's completely free on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. The collection of vehicles in War Thunder span over 100 years of development, from the 1920s to the present day. If you're looking for a fast, action-paced match or a more realistic tactical experience, War Thunder offers intense PvP battles at various immersion levels for all playstyles. The graphics are incredible and immersive, 4K resolution, authentic sound effects and beautiful music. And you don't need any extra pilot hardware or anything like that. You can fly any vehicle using nothing more than a mouse and keyboard. My favourite part about War Thunder is just the scale of what's going on. You look in front of you and there is a legit battlefield going on and it's just so immersive and it's unlike any other combat game I've played. On top of that, the sheer detail when you're looking at a plane or a tank or whatever vehicle you're using and just knowing that everything there is true to life, it just brings this new sense of realism. So why not download it? It's completely free and by using the link in the description, new players and players who haven't played for six months can claim a large bonus pack. The pack includes multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, an exclusive 3D decor for your vehicles and much more. And it's only available for a limited time. This is so annoying. I'm going to buy the auto smasher. I've got enough points, so I'm going to gonna grab it just because yeah, I can't really be asked to keep clicking them every time. And that might be why I couldn't kill that gargoyle. I don't know. It, it literally didn't give me the option to, like, attack it. Just got another G-more, man. Come on. Don't do that to me. Oh, there we go. Fuck me. Scroll box, yeah, nothing nothing great, but fucking, at least I actually got the kill. Fuck me, this is ridiculous. That's four granite mauls. Now, I'm going to see if I can get a greater demon task so that we can go to Krill. Um, I might just do it anyway, even if I don't get one, but I would like to. All right, I got cow fights as a task, and I don't have any points left, so I'm going to go ahead and do them. All right, it is time to play some pest control, although we are doing it the cheesy way where we're going to be fletching the whole time instead of actually playing the game. I'm going to make sure I get the 50 points, of course, but the main reason why I'm here is because I want to get 99 defense. Guys, Link, for whatever reason, I don't know why it was so different, but he splashed, and he splashed a lot. So I just want to maximize my magic defense through 99 magic in this episode. We could also cast the spellbook swap spell, which is another 200 points on top of the 200 for getting 99 magic. So, and it'd be good for Krill. I do want to go back to Krill this episode. And of course I'm protecting from melee at Krill and he does have a magic attack that hits pretty consistently. So I think overall it's good to do this now and then go for Krill. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm going to get 80 fletching, and then I'm probably going to stop fletching. This wasn't as quick as I had honestly anticipated, but not totally a waste of time. There's a lot of fletching tasks we can do. I'll probably wait to do all of them until after we kill Grardor because he drops magic logs, and I can't quite cut those yet. A thousand points coming up at the five-hour mark. So where's magic? Let's start dumping... All right, so the first XP drop we get is going to be 464k. So they're going up quite fast, which is always really good to see. And the last one is that 94 magic. Yeah, I'm just making sure it's not, like, not delayed or anything. Okay, 94. I don't think we'll need a thousand more. I think we'll need a lot less than that. All right, we have 400 more points to drop into magic. So let's do this really quickly. I hope I don't go too far over in, in XP here. Oh, drop that in. Oh my gosh, am I going to be a bit short? Are you serious? Now, we should finally be 99 magic. The highest level for the best magic defense. And we get 200 points. I know that took a while, but we have a lot of magic tasks we can do as well. We have a lot of tasks coming up. I'll put the rest in hit points, actually, even though it's just 20 points. But 300k XP, I'll take it. All right, two really quick tasks here. Make 10 Catherby teleports. Or is it just one? Why did I think it was 10? Huh. Must have um, just read that wrong. But... We also swap spellbooks. That should also be an elite task. 
600 points incredibly quick. Not really, technically, because we spent a lot of time at pest control, but you get what I mean. And this should be an 80-point task, just casting this spell. And I ruined my level 1 farming. For 80 points, it's worth it, though. Thanks for everybody in the comments who was basically saying, Rarik, you don't need dragon fire protection. And I'm guessing it works for icy protection as well. I keep reading it's a pretty cool perk of the melee spellbook. Prayer pots, I will take those. Just got 40 farming in less than half of an inventory. We'll keep it like that. I kept going past 30. I am going for base 30s, by the way. I don't know if I actually said that, but an extra 10 levels was so easy. Oh, shit. Craft 200 runes. We're also really close, and I actually don't think we have enough in the bank to get 30, and I'm kind of stressed about that, but... Ah. All right, did I nail this, or did I fuck this up? We're going to find out. We got it perfectly. I thought I calced it correctly. Boom. Let's get out of here. All right, guys, let's test some bandos. I wanted to do Hunter. It turns out there's no real quick way of doing Hunter in my regions. Uh, the quickest way is Butterflies, but I have no way to get Butterfly Jars unless I somehow had 58 Hunter to catch Natures, to cash that in Puro Puro, to then get a Jar Generator. I think the only other thing I can do was Polar Kebits, and they're pretty crap XP. So we decided just to bail on the plan, bail on the 1500. We're not that far off. Um, there's actually a method with the crafting cape as well. Thank you to someone in the comments um, who suggested it to me. If I Telly home, you generate my prayer in my house. I can then crafting cape Telly from my house. And the crystal of memories doesn't remember my house teleport. So I can then use the crystal memories from the crafting guild bank back to Asgarnia here where I am. And we are actually good to go. Ooh, 83 to finish it off. That really wasn't that bad at all. But that should be a task. Um, cool. Where's my frozen piece? We're definitely going to grab that. The whole method I was talking about. Teleport to my house. Then we pray at the altar. Hit the crafting cape telly. We bank. And then when we pop the crystal memories, we'll be right back in front of Bandos' door. Magic logs! That was so quick! I kind of wanted to go for a piece. Maybe I'll just get a few more kills just for the shits and giggles because it's it's really fast. But yeah, just a few more. I promise. I promise. I just like trying new things in leagues. And if we do get an item, it is 200 points. So, all right, guys, this will be my last kill before I get on out of here and do all my fletching tasks. And then I'll probably test my luck at Zami again. I really want to try that Zami spear method against Link. And it's also a 200 point task. So I will kill these minions and then let's go knock out like seven tasks. Just doing a little bit more Slayer because there is some tasks to kill like superiors and stuff like that. And I want to get 85 so I can get the Abyssal Demon task done because there are a lot of points. And we get nothing. Some raw lobsters. Just got another Miss Battle Staff, which is on the saturated heart drop table. Um, and I just got 85 Slayer as well. So we can now kill Abbey Demons. I think there's 200 points to kill an Abbey Demon. It might be 80. I might be getting that wrong. Um, and then there's 200 points to wear an Abyssal Whip as well. So yeah, decent amount of points from that 85 Slayer. Uh, I think I am just going to skip, 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 skip after this task and just see if I can get myself a, uh, a Greater Demon task. If not, I'm just going to go back to Krill and do it without the, uh, the Slayer task. Okay, that's probably the only task I would do because I do want the points. I do want the whip. So uh, let's go and do the Abbey Demons task. Oh, it was a 200 point task. Lovely. Very, very nice. And defeat an Abyssal Demon in Mauritania as well. So down to 4,500 points till the next relic. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why am I getting lucky in areas I don't want to get lucky in, bro? I can't wear it yet. I've got so many things I could wear at 70 attack. Uh, I don't know if I carry on with this task because they do have superiors. Um, it just gives a chance that saturated heart. And also there's the task to kill 50 superiors, which is 200 points, I think. So I do need to get that at some point anyway, so I might as well. Uh, I mean, I'm happy I got it. Obviously, I'd be annoyed if I went the whole task without getting the whip, but it's just like, I just, I want, I want the Arim stuff. I want the stuff of the deads. I don't want the war spears and fucking granite mauls and abyssal whips, you know? And that is a second whip there. <laughs> um, task coming to an end, then we're going to get the great demon task, and I am going to get myself a staff of the dead. It's happening. We're doing it. And it's a third whip. <laughs> 
Three of the bad boys. All right, that should be everything set up for Krill. We do have the task. That is the first time I've killed him on the first freeze, so that's very nice. Or the second freeze, even. Uh, no drop. All right, we are at 32 KC now. Um, I'm actually changing things up. I'm going to just kill Krill. I thought the minions could drop the Star for the Dead as well. Turns out they can't. So I'm sort of wasting my own time here. So I'm now going to go full offensive prayers. Use every, like, use... Is it Mystic Might I'm using? What's it called? Yeah, Mystic Might. I'm going to use Mystic Might, go full on at him. And rather than kill all the minions, I'm just going to tell he straight to Varrock. Get my prayer back and then tell he back. Because I'm just wasting my time killing the minions. There's, there's literally no reason to do it. You know? Wait for the drop, obviously. And then if we don't get it, boom, we're out. Last destination. All right, that's 43 KC. I'm actually going to take a quick break now. Because I do want to get myself 86 magic for Vaporize on the uh, Ruinous powers um yeah i want to get myself 86 what that does is 25 plus magic attack and four plus magic damage uh four percent plus magic damage so we're gonna go over to soul wars and do that and come back and do some more krill i see kins he's in this world doing soul wars with me <laughs> i've just asked where's that rat where is he I'd love to meet him in Soul Wars. That'd be fucking bad. All right, this is going to be 86 coming in. Uh, I had to move over to Pest Control because I hit the 1 mil cap over at uh, Soul Wars. So if we just do the 10 points, boom. 86, brah, lovely. And then um, I'm going to get myself 70 attack because I've got a load of points that are going to be linked with that. Um, yeah, I'll just go with the uh, the 10 for now, but we will obviously uh, get 100 again. There's 62. Yeah, just going to get 70 attack. We can wear the Zami Spear. We can wear the Abyssal Whip as well. That's two, I think, 200-point tasks. And also, the Zami Spear is going to be big for the fight, guys. I've worked that out. So I'm not very... I'm, I'm not annoyed I got it anymore. The special attack on the Zami Spear uh, is the same as the Dragon Spear. Um, it pushes him one tile back. So if he manages to freeze me and he's, you know, next to me, I can switch to the Zami Spear and then just push him a tile away. And that way he won't get as many hits on me. All right, this should get us the XP we need to get 70 attack. There we go. Here are some items we couldn't wear before. There is the 200 points for the Zami Spear. I don't think there's anything for the Torag Hammers. Oh, do you need strength as well? Okay, cool. Uh, and the whip. Nice. 400 points right there. All right, we got an hour of Krill. So let's go ahead and do it. And I'm on the Runius prayers. So I need to do that and that. And I'll need to change my quick prayers. But this is going to make us more accurate. We will take 10% more damage from praying incorrectly, though, against um, things. But to be fair, I don't take that much damage anyway. So it should just be good. There we go. What do we get? Nope. First task, chop something with a rune axe. Next up, fetch 25 oak stocks. Let's make a willow shield, and then we're going to wear it for 10 points. All right, we're going to have lots of tasks coming up. Let's spin all this bowstring real quick. Then we'll just drop one of those so we don't fuck this up in any way. We need to make this shield. We might have to wear it. Oh, nope. That worked just fine. Let's pick this back up. We're going to make this into a magic short bow. Thankfully, we don't have to wear this one. The only one we have to wear of all these bows that we have to make is actually the U bow, which we have 40 range. Look at all of those tasks. Look at that as well. I am now the steel rank. 10,000 points. Next one at 18k. Yikes. And just like that, we're back in God of War's dungeon. This time, Zami, if anything exciting happens you guys will be the first to know another steam battle staff that is the same rarity as the spear by the way so come on just give me the spear oh my god is this the one i have i have a really bad feeling i do i'm just gonna type in one ah no i knew it the kill after i'm going insane guys i'm going insane holy shit we got it holy freaking shit we we got it we got it we got it. KC64. Let's pop that sucker on. 200 points. Now, the main reason why I wanted this is, of course, the stun. I don't know if I will be using this in the fight. I'm going to have to 
look into it a little bit. I definitely want it for the 200 points. I know it was really common to get. But I think there's potential there. I think there's genuine potential. It's the same spec as a Dragon Spear. You guys are curious. Stun. Only three seconds, though. Deciding to test my luck with Bandos again. I really want to get one piece for that 200 point task. Plus, just having Bandos is really good for progressions and doing bosses like Bandos because I get my ass kicked otherwise in Void. Holy shit. Holy shit. Not really the hilt I wanted. But I'll take it. Where are you last, Trailblazers? Freeze into a back-to-back -back Bandos BGS spec? <sighs> I mean, we can't make it, obviously. We have two God Shard 1s. So we're going to go back there. It's also not part of the task because I can't equip it. Stop. Really? Dude, really? Another God Sword Shard 1? Mmm, Bandos boots. Bandos boots. Bandos boots. It counts as the task. It counts as the task, so I am stoked. Next up, we have clue scrolls we want to do. We had some in the bank, and there's actually a fair bit of points you can get relatively easily just from bashing out clue scrolls. I'm not sure I could actually do this clue. I'm going to have to drop it. It says talk to Shanty, but that, of course, isn't in my region, and I'm not going to sit around and try to figure it out. So, all right, I need to hit a dopamine, so I'm going to open up these 11 beginners, and let's see if we get any tasks. Bro. Did I just waste my time? There's something. There's something again. I think I just wasted my time. All right, let's just open these up. We need to get a unique. We need to get three collection lock slots and five uniques, all from Hard Clue. The wording is also so weird. Uh, I just, I these aren't really working. These, these, these clue scrolls. I, I don't even want to do this anymore. So I've been doing a few tasks here and there as I've been doing these clue scrolls. We have 26 more to go. 25 now. And we get the new region. I'm not really too stressed about the region right now. It's just points. But again, we're stopping clue scrolls and just going to continue with tasks. Actually, first, let's get 99 attack. And then we round out the episode with a bunch more tasks. Alrighty, quick three hundo points coming in. I actually might have gotten too many points. Another in attack. I did. 739k. Anyways... That's a 200 point task, if I've ever seen one. I have a big list of tasks that we can do. I am also just going to drop the last 100 in defense. But actually, I don't think 200 would have gotten us because we did get some XP in game. Because we're only like 80k over. That went to 82. Hell yeah, okay. No regrets. 117 combat. This actually took a bit longer than expected. 10 laps of the Varak Agility course. That is, I believe, a 40 point task. Yeah. I'm really not sure how I missed this lunar task, but uh, where's Moon Clan? I believe this is a task. It's either this or the other one. Boom. And then we could just last recall right back. Very quick task coming up. And that is, that's only 40. Come on, that should have been 80. That should have been 80. What? What? Am I, sorry, am I high right now? Did I just do client of... I mean, I can't even get there. I didn't unlock any regions or anything. Complete Ghost Sahoy. What the fuck? I mean, there must have been some update where it's like auto unlocked or some shit, but... I... I... Wow. Okay. I don't know. I didn't like just log in or anything. Like, I've been logged in for a while, as you can see. Uh, I'm also just getting gold to make some recoils, which I may or may not use in the fight and also create an emerald ring, but I just had to question that. I mean, okay. I'm not going to complain. Apparently some update fixed it. I don't know what they were fixing, but I mean, again, I'll take some free points and there's a free 40 right there as well. All right. Had to spend some time getting 40 thieving, but oh, it's going to be annoying. I'm about to die. I, sh I should be fine. I got to pickpocket once. There technically is a task to pickpocket. Uh, well, it's not specifically a guard, but to open up 800 coins in a coin pouch, there is no way I get the this episode. So... We're going to run down to the Master Farmer over here. Uh, there actually was a closer tell you with the Champions Guild. It's fine. It's fine. There's not much I can squeeze in in three minutes anyway. There also is a task to get a Renar Seed from this guy. I might just YOLO a few extra pickpockets if I can. I don't have much. Actually, no. He hits threes. He hits threes. Just to kill off the last minute, I'm going to do some very quick mining just to get some XP. There, There is a task to make a Myth Grapple, and I don't have any Myth Ore. Funny enough, there might be a place to buy it, actually, but again, it's just a minute, and 
I'd rather do this than just do nothing. So I don't really know why Link is messaging me right now. Film, Link. Film so we can fight. But this is the setup we're going with. The, the first thing I want to say is I decided not to bring the spear. I just don't think it's worth it. If I get next to him, I want to be able just to unleash DPS. The problem with the spear is I think I'd have to stun, get a hit and stun, get a hit and stun, get a hit and... But it's, it's a bit tricky because after a stun, there's 0.6 seconds, so one tick of immunity where he can freeze me, where he can eat a food. And I don't know, wasting specs on that. I mean, everything would have to go completely perfect for that plan to work. And these fights just don't go perfect ever. A DDS is a lot more simple. It's a lot more straightforward. And even through Protect from Melee, even through the Staff of the Dead, if he has one, it should be able to hit in incredibly high. Um, so we are still going with the Dragon Dagger spec plan. So don't regret getting the spear. Maybe I can try it in a future episode if this doesn't work. But it was also 200 points, so it is what it is. But anyways, I am stacking magic defense again this time. We're going recoil. That's the only thing I'm sacrificing magic defense on. Lunar boots, just because we get a little bit of magic defense, a little bit of magic attack for my entangles. We're not bringing any magic offensive spells. I am just going to tank with the Staff of Dead as hard as I can with my plus 136 magic defense. We are also 99 magic now. So we only had 84, I think it was in the last episode. We also have two extra defense bonuses, or sorry, defense levels. So I'm hoping even if he has magic here in this episode, he's still splashing. But even if he is hitting, if he doesn't have that tank gear, we are going to unleash on any robes. If I can get next to him, and I have first hit this episode, so hopefully we entangle and get our first hit. Boom. Maybe I just spec him out at the very start. Kill him in seconds. That's the idea. If I don't, we just tank, we freeze, we go next to him, we try again, and we keep trying until he dies. We're going to get this episode, guys. I'm feeling good. I'm a little nervous again. He has the Staff of the Dead, but... It's, it's, even if he does, there are ways to counter this. I will just say that we are very close to our next area. I'm trying not to do any small tasks. I'm not like in dire need of a new area right now. Um, I'm a little nervous, the point situation. The next episode, I would really like to get the next relic. I don't know if it's possible. We'll definitely get the next region. So if you have any ideas of which one I should pick, I kind of already know. I won't spoil it right now, but I'm all ears, guys. I'm all ears for some, for some good content. Uh, but tier seven kind of far away but we're getting there we are getting there there is a god sword shard three uh let's just take that i don't know if that um oh that is a different piece i'm not really trying to go for a god sword though so you know i'm pretty sure that's rarer than the staff of the dead as well yeah it is it's one in seven six two and we've had two of them and the staff of the dead is one in 508 obviously the the drop rates are lower than that because of uh because of the league multiplier, but, you know, we're still getting rarer shit than the Staff of the Dead. It's another Zami Spear. Fuck's sake, man. Just not getting anything I want, guys. Nothing I want. It's a shame. It is a shame. Um, I don't think it even outs for that much, to be honest. Let's have a cheeky look. Yeah, 60k. I mean, not that I need money. God Sword Shard 1. Is that a new one? Can't remember. No, I don't think that is. I'm pretty sure that's a dupe. Yeah, it is. It is. It's another God Sword Shard one. They are seven, one in 760 before multipliers. I now have four God Sword Shards, which are all rarer than the Staff of the Dead. All right, this is going to be the last kill. No chance I'll get another one after this. Uh, so last chance to get the Staff of the Dead for today. And it doesn't happen. You hate to see it. All right, guys. I took a long time to work this setup out. I actually tried every single com combination possible of all the gear I have in the bank. And this seems like the best setup. Um, I'm maximizing my magic attack. 49. Uh, last fight, it was 36. So we're giving 13 plus magic here. Uh, last fight, I had 214 slash defense. In this, I have 177, which is pretty good. That's pretty solid. We need to be catching freezes, and we need to be hitting him. That's the main priority here. Uh, I've swapped the fire cape out for the ghostly cloak. It actually gives four plus magic attack. We just lose some defenses. 
um, by going with this, which at the end of the day, if I'm catching freezes, he shouldn't be hitting me as often. And yeah, Darrow Plate Body is just it's negative 30 magic. It's just too, it's too much. I, I can't negate that that badly. If I was wearing the Darrow Plate Body right now, I'd only have 19 magic attack. Obviously, I'd be very defensive, but I need to be hitting. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. Uh, Zami Spear, obviously, we can't take out right now. Um, but that is going to be used to spec him and push him away from me when I need to. Um, then we got a super restore that we got from uh, Krill. We've got loads of them, so might as well take him. And then we got some combo eats uh, for if he does get too close. And I need to just get myself back up to full before spearing him or something like that. So that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Pretty excited to see what he's done as well. Kinahos. Yo. <laughs> Another eight <laughs> hours completed. This one felt like it took a while for me. They usually yeah. zoom by. This one, yeah, I don't know what it was. I think I was just all over the place, to be honest. Okay, well... Oh, good, though. I think I had an okay episode. Okay, all right. I was hoping you were going to say uh. you were all over the place and it didn't, you know, it didn't go well. But, no, okay. not not in a bad way. Right. Just doing a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot right. of different goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well, uh, do you want to do a combat reveal? And then we'll get into, like, points and all that stuff, and we'll see where we're at. Let's do it. Let's all do right. it. All right, count us in, mate. Uh, three... Two, one, look. Oh, fucking okay. hell. I, were, were, were you 100 last time? I, yeah, I mean, you, 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 you were 110 last time, so I knew you were going to be bit better than me, whatever, but right. Jesus Christ. Okay, kids. yeah. You nearly maxed over there. <laughs> you want to look at my, just look at my stats. I'll, I'll argue. I'll, All right. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> 99 to, attack. No, 99 magic as well? I had to, bro. Oh, my. How have you had time had to, to do all that? Fucking That's hell. That's true. Oh. Well, attack, I got... I, I finished it off at pest control, but most of my attack XP, I just got passively through, did like... Did you do anything else other than yeah. pest control? Yeah, I only did pest control for, like, maybe <laughs> three hours this episode. Like Jesus five hours Christ. of other stuff. Okay. First thing I saw was 86 prayer, actually. The fuck's 86 prayer? Vaporize. Oh... Oh, he's going to be on the new spell book. We're giving it a go, man. We're giving it a go. go. You trashed on it. And I was like, mm, I don't know, Link. I mean, I actually I, read I, it wrong. I didn't see a magic attack bonus uh, right. or damage bonus. So I read it wrong. Um, and I've got to say one of the comments actually made me reread it. I was like, what? And then I read it. I was okay. like, well, obviously I should be using that. League points or task completed. Task completed, 284. Ooh. Still very low. I think you had more last episode. 314. Oh my god, you barely did any tasks. Yeah, no, I didn't do much at all this episode. So I did do tasks, but I was focused on like big ones, like 200 pointers, right. 80 pointers. Okay, all right. So well, my league points is 11,140. Oh, he's taking the lead. He's taking oh. the lead. Mine's uh, 10,890. Oh, let's fucking go. I mean, you, the fact that you didn't do, like, any fucking task. I did a few. There was a couple of things that I got passively um, and stuff like that. But, yeah, no, I, I didn't. I wasn't, like, focused on it. Hit me with your first item and we'll uh, we'll get into this. Let's go. Let's go shield slot. So weird today. I don't think I ever say shield slot first. Okay. I don't know if I should be looking to upgrade this shield. I haven't really thought about it too much. But, um, yeah. Uh, let's go necklace, mate. Get that out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, gloves. Boom. I mean, just, you don't have to do this, but you yeah, fucking yeah, know cool, I'm going to cool, have cool. the void. Yeah, yeah. Just his <laughs> legs. All right. Oh, he's still going that. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, helm. Is it hurt still? Oh, oh, what was that? Ooh. Oh. So how helm I. Mm -hmm. Oh, for the plus three magic or plus whatever the three fuck it is. magic and, and it gives defense. It's like a room full helm. It's like a magic room ah. full helm. So it gives okay. a bit of best of both worlds. That's why. Uh... All right, Hannah Montana. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of look like her as well. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's the best of both worlds. <laughs> My God. Uh... Okay, uh, body. Did not get. Did you I do did. barrows? I did get though? a Darrow plate body, but it gives minus thirty magic. Like oh, I, can't, I can't be wearing that, you know. Yeah. Uh, God. So no, I'm not taking it. And obviously with zero magic attack bonus on this, like it's fucking ideal, you know. Keep. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna get rid of this. I did. 
Again, going for the magic attack, it gives four plus on the uh, on the fire cape. So I'm okay, okay. Seeing whether or not I can uh, do anything respect, different, you know. Respect. Let's hope my this is where ninety nine magic is going to come in for me. <laughs> for <guys>. sake. <laughs> Uh, I, I also have this. I, I okay. went back to the stack magic defense. Nice. I'm like, something was in the air last episode, and I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm going to go back to being no, a bit no, of a nice. tank. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, booties? I'll take them off. I actually okay. are going lunar this time instead of jester, just cool. for the mixture between magic attack and magic defense. Cool. I got the ghostlies on. Yep. Uh, okay. Ring? Ring? I'm going recoil. Okay. I'm going to go Ring of Shadows. Is it just weapon? Uh, I mean, you know I'm going to have this. Me, yeah. Just weapon for me. You know I'm going to have this. You know I'm going to have this. Yeah, yep, yep. You yep, know yep. I'm going to have this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put okay. it on, Link. Hmm. Put it on, Mr. 70 Attack. Oh. Did you did you do Krillis episode, though? Dude, I'm like 70 plus KC. I've got, like, loads of God Sword shards. I've got fucking every... I just can't get it. I just can't get no, it. Most Italian. I, even because I thought for a second tar. you might have it, but and that's why you were getting your attack up. Like, oh, I can't wear it yet, but I have it. No. I even got a Slayer task. because like, fuck it. We're going to fire through these. I'm doing Krill on task and everything, dude. Oh. Like, it just it just didn't happen. So, Link. yeah. I got to hilt this episode. You want to take a while? I guess which one? <laughs> Bandos. Bandos. It was, it right. was Bandos. So, can we, the shard can we dude. please make sure we talk about Rog's RNG? Because whenever he starts getting lucky, no one's like, ah, broken Last RNG. Trailblazer, dude, I was like double the drop rate for a You Bandos got a Sora sword that won up. you the fucking thing. So yeah, don't, dude, that was on such me. a wit. I, to, if you want to go back and watch the other Trailblazers, it's very good. I did get 70 for a reason, though. Um, I got an Abyssal Whip, and I wanted to get the 200-point task. Oh, okay. um, and I just 200-point also... task to kill an Abyssal Demon, too. Is it? I also wanted the 200 point task for this bad boy, which I got two of, by the way. So did you? Yes. I got one as well. I decided not to bring it. Mm. All right, dude. We'll send over our um, inventories to each other. I know yours hasn't changed aside from the spear. I bet. Yeah, I mean, and the you, super defense. You are right on the super defense. I could have made one, but I actually got that herbal Ooh. level quite late, so I didn't end oh. up doing it. Um, Okay. Oh, he's got some tickets. It's a bit different. Yeah, it's a bit there's different. A few, there's a few. There's a few differences. Uh, okay. All right. All righty. Let's do this, bro. Let's do it. All right, Link. Two second warning. Now. Not again. I've splashed. I've fucking splashed, guys. I've fucking splashed. Come on. There we go. There we go. It's happening. It's happening. Why am I not attacking? Oh, it's done it. It's taking the fucking spell off because I switched thingies. This is oh, bad, guys. Oh, did it? This is bad. All right. That, at least He's that's going to run out of those soon. Get away. Get away. Nice, 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 nice. Come on. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Nice. Oh, he's back though, he's straight back. Come on, come he on. He hit that one. Come on. Get that HP back up. Nice. No? Really? Push back, nice. I, so it breaks the freeze, apparently. Come on, come on, come on. Froze that too early there. Come on. Froze it too early. Froze it too early, yes. guys. Come on! Oh, I did have a food left, but you had plenty. 
yeah, I had, I had plenty. I had plenty. Whoa, the spear, spear came in saved clutch. you there. Spear saved you. The spear might actually be better than the Staff of the Dead. I, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, Beezer G's. You're going to have to see what Kins comes up with in the next episode. Over on his channel, uh, click the playlist if you haven't. And uh, yeah, there should be an episode up there if you're uh, if you're watching at a different time. See you then. Bye. Don't forget to download War Thunder for free by using the link in the description, guys.